Your voice, your vote tonight, a rare behind the scenes look at what it takes to make your ballot. We are two weeks away from early ballots being sent out across Arizona. And new at six, Nicole Craig shows us where that process begins. This is where your ballot is printed. Inside Runbeck Election Services, where they invited press in to see the process for transparency. Everything's managed by data, right? It's all managed through barcodes, um, databases, uh, quality checks throughout. A secure facility all the way around. Runbeck became a target after the 2020 election. I asked them how they handle misinformation about what they do. Answer the questions we get asked, right? Whether it's from the media, um, we've had a lot of politicians coming in asking those very questions. How do we manage that? Um, and it's just answering that question. We don't engage on social media because what's to be gained, but when people come and they want to know, We'll answer the question. This operation is 24 7. Depending on the county that you live in, these rolls of paper could be what your ballots are printed on. I'm told that each roll of paper weighs around a thousand pounds in total. They'll go through about two million pounds of paper. The type of paper used is what was brought into question in Maricopa County during the 2020 election. We use the same type. Uh, we use uh, Roland Vote Secure paper. Um, it's made for Dominion tabulation systems. Despite claims, there was only one type of paper used in Maricopa County. We don't have the option of just going to get a random paper from a, a paper mill. So we use what's prescribed. If you requested a mail-in ballot, you can expect to see it in the mail in about two weeks. In Phoenix, Nicole Grigg, ABC 15, Arizona.